Hey, what is up you guys? Yes, it's me, Robbie, at One Man Shop. And I just want to do a little video of my new workbench that I got yesterday and I built. It's already getting dusty. But it's a Harbor Freight multi-purpose workbench with light and outlet. There's the light that it comes with. I know it's a little one, but for what I need it for, it's plenty big enough and it lets off a lot of light. A lot of workspace. You know, gotta have my catalogs that I just got in the mail and my International Harvester book with everything that you need from the little ones to the big ones. Like her. That did have uh, treats in it for my dog. But, yeah. Okay, we're on the side of the workbench. Comes with three outlets. I'm already using two of them. One for the light and one for the drill press. And it comes with this plug to plug in to run these two outlets, three outlets. And I already got my drill press put in. Ran all the wires behind everything. I ran that wire behind that. And the two drawers. I still haven't figured out what I'm going to be putting in this. Maybe like hand tools or something. Like I already got clamps and soldering. You know, you know. Yeah. And they lock in. But you got to push on the sides to make them lock in. And yeah, way nicer than that Ohio State table that you guys seen in my previous vlogs. And yeah, comes with this little shelf up here. Of course, with me being in my shop, which is a metal shed. You gotta work with what you got, but you know. Comment down below if you guys want to see a video about this tractor right here. It's a 1962 Cub Cadet, original. I restored it two years ago, still looking good. I know I need to give it a bath, you know. Uh, um, buff out my hood, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> Jeez. Buff out my hood again. Maybe give it a good little wax. I need to pull these headlights back off, repaint them. And yeah, other than that, it's a really clean tractor. I gotta clean up this motor because I finally put new gaskets in the valve cover and a new filter on the inside and new rubber for the uh, stud. And now it doesn't leak. So yeah, put a new gasket on the points cover, kill switch. And yeah, I do have a new sediment bowl that I got from a good friend of mine two good friends of mine but I'm saving it for the 100 so when I restore that I will put it on the 100 but I might order a new one and put it on this and yeah, just a regular old sentiment bowl and yeah comment down below if you guys want to see a video about that but these plastic uh, bins I got from Harbor Freight and yeah they're pretty good here's a sentiment bowl that came off of a I found it on the 105 underneath the fender when I first got it I cleaned it up I need to clean it up again and repaint it again Maybe that's just regular old primer but yeah it's pretty clean that doesn't really work that good, but I want to tear it apart and rebuild it. So that's what I might do on my new workbench. So yeah. So yeah. If you guys like my bench, give it a thumbs up. And comment down below if you guys want to see a video about the Cub Cadet. So yeah. Got 13 subscribers. Really happy about that. And yeah. So... That is my video of my multi-purpose workbench from Harbor Freight.
I'll let you guys read all that if you guys want. Alright. So, yeah. And there's plenty of storage down here. Put my big old speaker down there. And I got a speaker out there that I ran the wire up and over and down. So, yeah. So, I'm going to conclude this video, you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this little overlook of my new workbench. I really enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. So, yeah. Comment down below. Just like what I said three times. Comment down below if you guys want to see an over... A uh, little walkthrough or look inside of the Cupcake original or the 100. So, yeah. Just comment down below. Thanks, you guys. I will get better at these YouTube videos. But you know what they always say. Practice makes perfect. So see you guys. Bye.